repertoire has been a zero for two years. I know. I know his potential, but he hasn't been that player since 2019. It's 2021. And they're going to put him in there at shortstop where he hasn't been good defensively, where he hasn't hit much at all. I know why they're going to do it. They're going to do it. They have to do it. But do you think maybe they lose a little bit putting him in that lineup and taking guys like Velasquez and Wade out? And it's funny because Aaron Boone was asked about that because Torres played in the rehab game yesterday. And I guess Friday is what they're looking at for him to return mm-hmm. to the Yankees. And they said, oh, was he come back and he's right back at shortstop? And Boone said, let's wait and see. A week is a lifetime. We have guys who have contributed in different ways. Again, I'm not saying that Odor should be playing over Urshel. I'm not saying that Velasquez should be playing uh, over Glaber Torres, but there is something to it while they're winning. And I'll tell you, another guy, LeMahieu has not hit at all this year. It's been I mean, an off year. So they could maybe, I shouldn't say at all, obviously he's had some moments, but compared to what you expect Just not LeMahieu, what he's been. Maybe, and maybe now's not the time to do it, maybe it's more next year, but maybe he falls back to the spot that they originally signed him to be, which was kind of the, the super sub. You start at third one day, you start at second one day, you start at first one day. Look, it is a good problem to have. They're absolutely loaded. However, it's very tricky and a very delicate balance to make sure you get the right guys in there, the right mix to help your ball club uh, ball club win games. Right now, they have that Torres coming back, even though he's a great player with great potential, could be an issue. I tell you, they, what they do have is great flexibility. I yeah. mean, because now Especially you've with got Stanton in the outfield. That's exactly the with Stanton being able to play right field again. Plus, his offense is up six ticks since he's been in right field, and there is something to it, even though they might not want to admit it. I know Stanton did. I don't think Boone did. But the fact that he can play right field again now, all of a sudden, you've got really what you say. You've got rotating pieces. You don't need Brett Gardner in center field every day. You can spot start him. You can insert him late for defense, and he certainly has that, as we saw yesterday in Oakland. You can DH Joey Gallo once in a mm-hmm. while. You can put Stanton in left, Judge and right, Gardner in center. You can move Torres. You could play Velasquez at short, Torres at second, Odor at third. You can right. put LeMahieu at first. I mean, there's so many different things you can do with this team. The, the the question I would say and the challenge for Aaron Boone and whoever's making the lineup is how do you get everybody enough bats to keep everybody happy? To me, if they're winning and everybody's getting enough at bats, they'll be just fine. 